Oh no! Welcome to Wolf Dancer, 18 holes of Texas wilderness. Named in tribute to the heritage of the Tonkawa tribe of Central Texas, Wolf Dancer will test the golfer's skills across a mix of terrains. The front nine features a number of challenging yet rewarding holes. Even par on the front nine is to be considered a victory, with a bogey-free round nothing short of a miracle. The back nine offers more opportunities at birdies in the front, but losing focus will surely lead to more lost shots. The green and surrounding areas are anything but subtle. Hitting the green on the wrong side will make two putt a real challenge. Firing at a flag and missing on the short side, however, makes saving par an afterthought and avoiding double the priority. It's a challenge, but the perfect place to call home and hone my game to prepare for the tour. All right, here we are, first hole on the back nine. It's a 401 yard par four, dog leg right. Everything slopes really hard to the right and there's a forest over there, so you gotta land this thing on the left side of the fairway. Unfortunately, I landed this in the middle, so it kicked over into the rough on the left and really tugged this 50 degree. I had about 120 some yards off an uphill lie and did not hit my best shot. So after very aggressively fixing my divot, I find myself pin high left of the green on top of a slope kind of on some uh, some mud here. So I didn't really like the chip that I was gonna have to hit, especially considering it's super downhill and I didn't have a ton of green to work with. So I decided I was gonna putt this. Left myself, um, I was really just trying to get this thing to trickle onto the green and then release the rest of the way. So kind of a tricky shot, really easy just to leave it up on the hill. Fortunately, I was able to get it to trickle on. Didn't read it to break the quite that much to the right but honestly, a four-footer after that miss from the fairway for par, not a bad, not a bad deal. This here is a 345-yard dog leg left par four. Typically, you can drive the green during the summer, but today, this is the play right here. Just hit it straight away into the fairway. It's soft enough that you can get it to land in the fairway and stay instead of kicking through into the weeds. A little 85-yard wedge here. I wanted to fly this thing about 75 or 80 yards, get it to land and then kick forward because the second half of this green slopes away, but didn't quite get it to that slope, so it just hung up. See how shiny that grass is? That means a straight down grain. And uh, gave it a little bit too much respect here. Thought it was gonna be a very fast putt, which it was, but didn't hit it hard enough. A Little bit of frustration on this shot. It is a very fun little par three. It's very highly elevated. Um, straight downhill, usually plays about a club less. This putt looks uphill, does it not? It looks straight uphill, but it's actually straight downhill. So as a result, I hit it 15 feet by. But you know, when you're cash, 15 footer for a comeback par. Five guys on the tee box ahead of us. So the rest of this round might take a while. This is a good hole here. 470 yards, dog leg right uphill. I uh, hit this into the right rough, which, you know, it seems like that'd be dead on a dog leg right, but I was able to get this up high enough that I was able to even miss on the right side of the green, which is good, especially to this left pin. I'm uh, about an inch off the green here, went ahead and counted as a green and reg, and uh, knocked this putt almost into the hole, another easy par. And on to the next hole. This one is a 586 yard par five, dog leg left. And I hooked the living heck out of this one. But fortunately, dog leg left, so that little hook actually put me within reach of the green. Had a flyer lie here, kind of got away with it. So 230 yards, downwind, flyer lie, hit a five iron. Pretty much a perfect golf shot. I literally have only made one putt all day and it was a, a 15 footer to save par. And right now I have a 25 footer for Eagle, pin high. Couldn't be in a better spot. Please golf, give me something today. Honestly, I hit a really good putt here. Just didn't quite stay up the way I thought it would. But we will not thumb our nose at an easy birdie. This one's a drivable par four. Um, there's some trees you got to cover on the right side to get to the green, which I did. I didn't quite get it all the way to the hole, um, just short of the green, which is fine. It's 5.15 p.m. We are on the 15th hole. So we got three and a half holes left to play, and uh, we're waiting for them on the tee box. So I'll be very happy if we're able to finish this round. 
this green it slopes from front to back so this shot right here you'll see how much it trickles out it's also very firm so although i had a lot of green to work with i still had to hit a pretty touchy shot to leave myself that little tap in for birdie this is one of the hardest holes in the course here number 16 480 yard par 4 dog leg right and i sniped this thing left oh boy this is gonna be tough par here so this shot is really really pretty difficult because i'm sitting in leaves i don't know exactly where i'm going to hit this on the face if i hit high on the face i can't hit it low enough to get through this gap but i'm just going to take the lowest loft i have and try to get it up there somewhere near the green well i got it up near the green but it is in a pretty tough spot that green that pin is tucked over there on the right and i missed right and I'm going to have to go over some bunkers onto the green and just pray I'm able to get this thing within 10 feet. So there's my ball. And here's the flag. As you can see, everything's running away from me. This is going to be a tough one. I probably could have landed this closer to the edge of the green, but it's such a quirky shot. And the last thing I want to do is leave it in the bunker. So now I got myself a little 15-ish footer dead flat putt, dead straight. All I gotta do is hit it. I mean, why would I do that? Why would I ever do that? This is when it became really difficult to see. I had a little five iron, pin was in the back, and I absolutely striped it. I saw the first hundred yards and then the ball disappeared into the darkness. It really is darker than the cameras make it look. Hit a really solid chip here. Thought I jarred it, tried to move it in with my body, but it did not quite work. Trick shot. Can we join you? Hello, sir. That's allowed? Uh, I'm sure it is. Oh, you got to shit, man. Damn it. Did they go right? You made me nervous, Jared. Mm -hmm. This hole is normally an auto birdie, but it's very, very dark out, and not to mention I hit a very bad drive. So the rest of this hole, please don't hold against me. Can I get you to move your cart, Mr. Bragg? As it turns out, not being able to see anything makes it harder to play golf. This was not my best shot, but don't judge me. I couldn't even see the ground. And there it is. Sat back on that one really good. was a bogey. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed that video and you want to see more like it, click on my channel to see all the other videos I've posted. Tons of golf related stuff on there, so I'm sure you'll enjoy that if you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos I post in the future. Comment what you want to see next and go ahead and tickle that like button to give me a little help with the algorithm. Follow my socials. I've started posting a lot more on TikTok and Instagram, so check out Ben Haddon Golf on both of those platforms to get with it. Click the links in my description to check out some other cool stuff. Those are all sponsors of me, so if you like what I do, check out that stuff to keep this thing going. Patreon is also an option if you want to support me and see some additional content that will never see the light of YouTube. Thanks a ton, guys. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one.